بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما now there is another feature called application level gateways most of the firewalls may support may not support depends like in application level gateways uh, in, in application level gateways the client issues a request from a trusted network and it, the connection is actually established by the gateway so in, in some other other way we can also call it as proxy servers like what they do exactly here is let's say there is a user here on my internal network is trying to access something on the internet maybe let's say the, the user wants to access some yahoo server and the request actually goes to the proxy so we will maintain some application level gateways or the proxy servers and the request is actually initiated from the source address 10.1.1.1 and destined to yahoo server the request actually goes to the proxy server now uh, now it depends upon how you configure and what kind of uh, firewall we use like let let me take a simple example from a cisco cisco uh, products like uh, the user sitting here maybe a source address is initiating a traffic the source address and the destination is let's say he is trying to access some yahoo server here now in general this traffic is supposed to go to the gateway so it goes to the gateway now and maybe this gateway actually redirect the traffic to some a uh, proxy there are multiple ways actually you can either configure some web browser to send the request to the proxy directly or you can also configure the router to to redirect the traffic to the proxy and this proxy is going to do two things one is uh, most of the uh, application level gateway supports two features like there is something called web caching now web caching is a feature where the proxy is going to store the recently accessed traffic now if the user is trying to access the yahoo server if it is in the temporary cache memory or if the proxy already knows or stores that particular information on the web page it is going to immediately send it back to the user if it is not present in the cache then it is going to initiate a new request from here there is a new request initiated uh, by the proxy where the source address is going to be the proxy and the destination is going to be yahoo server and the request goes to the yahoo and the yahoo gets the web page to the proxy and the proxy is going to store it in the cache so that if any other user is trying to access the same page it doesn't need to uh, route over the internet and then send it back and then send it back to the to the yahoo to the specific individual user now one is uh, the main advantage of using this proxy is it is going to reduce the bandwidth utilization on the internet link especially you know within my lan we use very high speed links like 100 mbps or 1000 mbps so most of the requests they don't go to the internet they that will be resolved by the proxy once it caches the information now now some other application firewalls now again it depends on the vendors as i said they they may sub, most of the proxies supports web caching and some uh, proxies they also do support some some kind of web filtering now the web filtering is like we can configure this proxy to filter specific sites so i want to block some social networking sites or maybe some selected websites or url filtering or web filtering kind of thing so when this user initiates a request if he is trying to access some website let's say some xyz.com and as per the rules that particular website traffic should be denied it's going to filter that particular request so uh, most of the proxies supports web web caching that is one of the main feature or the main benefit of using this uh, proxy or application gateways but uh, some other some other uh, application gateways they do support some web filtering like cisco have its own product called cisco wsa web security appliance it's a it's a product from cisco which will provide some kind of web caching and also web filtering again depends upon the vendors as i said so the main main reason of using the proxy is uh, main reason is like web caching where the traffic is initiated by the proxy on behalf of the end users and then get back the request and then it is going to store it in the cache and if any other user want to access the same information it will be sent from the proxy itself so prevent the direction direct connection between a trusted server and also security wise there's no direct connection between a trusted uh, server and the trusted device and the server 
because the connection is initiated from the client to the proxy and the proxy is going to initiate a new connection on, on behalf of the end users.